Welcome back. For today's demonstration, we're actually going to trap carbon dioxide gas. For this reaction, you're going to need vinegar, baking soda, an empty bottle, and a balloon. Now, believe it or not, baking soda is actually a kind of salt known as sodium bicarbonate. Vinegar is actually really diluted acetic acid. When these two get together, they form carbonic acid. And carbonic acid tends to rapidly break apart into water and carbon dioxide. Now, because carbon dioxide is a gas, it typically just floats away. But we should be able to trap it using this balloon as a cover for this bottle. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, as for safety, this reaction is pretty safe. However, I am still gonna wear my splash goggles because there is a chance that the balloon will explode if it fills with too much gas. First, we're going to measure about one half cup of vinegar. Then, we are going to carefully pour the vinegar into a clean and empty 20 ounce bottle. Separately, we pour about four tablespoons of baking soda into an uninflated balloon using a funnel. Then we stretch the opening of the balloon around the mouth of the bottle, being careful not to accidentally tip the baking soda into the bottle just yet. Finally, we pour the baking soda into the bottle by grabbing the very tip of the balloon. I'd recommend holding onto the tip of the balloon for a few seconds while the carbon dioxide gas forms and begins to fill up the balloon. Using a wide mouth bottle or pulling the balloon farther down the mouth of the bottle will make it easier for the balloon to stand straight up by itself once it fills with carbon dioxide gas. Also, you can make this reaction colorful by adding food coloring to the vinegar before covering the bottle with the balloon. Furthermore, you can have fun with this reaction by adjusting the amounts of vinegar or baking soda you use.